Good morning. Welcome to Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. We start right here. This is our ETF of the day, Crane um, China Internet. Uh, so that is our ETF of the day. Let us move on over to cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are surging. My screen is a little hesitant to move. 64, 473. Bottomed out, it's 60, close to 63,500. And pull back here. That's had a few pullbacks, but it's surging higher. So that is a story with Bitcoin. Our word of the day is the Ikasate. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Cross or intersect each other to form an X. The main road and railroad tracks meet to in a decussate intersection east of town. So that is our word of the day. Uh, Microsoft is down a little bit. Video is up. So we've had a wild gyration. Bit and video is up earlier over 2%. Uh, with Microsoft earnings, Microsoft is up 12.7%. At one time, it was up 15, a little over 15%. We did take our profits at that point. We bought it after hours yesterday at 108. Um, I think it was 40, and we sold it at 112.17. So there is that. Might be some volatility propping up its head as there's into others. They're kind of moving into tech at the moment, but tomorrow's P -E PCE report will tell a lot. So that is the story there. If you're at all worried that we could have a hard landing, there's some 60% chance of another 50 basis points of rate cut. Uh, you might think of moving your hard-earned money that you spend a lot of time saving up over to here. It does not go down on market down, does not go down, so it conserves your money. And it, as you can see, this is index investing bounce around with the market. It outpaces index investing by about 5% per year. You can see the big gap up here. And currently they're offering 11% or more bonuses. So there you have that. Let us go over to our charts. Our charts are, there we go. So this is China. Now we're going to take a look at stock of the day, which has everybody talking, is Micron. It's currently on its low right now. Wow, it's back to 108. That's uh, very interesting. Glad I took my profits. And <clears throat> our IPO of the day is next tracker. The 3.21%. It was up higher earlier and is pulling back to its 20-day moving average. Take a look at do the dollar. Dollar is selling off, off 0.32%. Silver, silver is bouncing a little bit, up 0.52%. Gold, which has just been streaking higher, continues higher, up 0.3%. Copper gaps up today. Wow, look, nice move in copper. I believe this is copper miner, one of our favorite copper miners. Tech. Another miner moving up a lot stronger, up 6.6%. FCX gapping up 76 And Southern Copper had a lot of volume today early. It's gapping up. It's 8.18%. Eight, up 8 Over to Denison Mines and Uranium is pulling back a little bit. Kameko. Um, it's up 1.11%, was up higher and sold off. So that is that. Let's go over to our bonds, bond yields. Wow, look at that. Bond yields are bouncing higher today. That's probably um, what has turned the market a little bit. It's up 0.71%. We'll see if it stays that way. It's at 3.881% yield. So let us move on to the 20 year. 20 year is just under 3%. It's up 0.10%. Look at the volatility or VIX index. It's bouncing off the 200 day moving average up 2.5%, up to 1563. SP 500. It's pretty close to flat today, up 0.22%. The Equal weighted on the S&P 500, 
is up 0.69 percent, a little stronger. The Nasdaq tried to move higher and then sold off up 0.37 percent, the equal weight on the Nasdaq. Doing about the same, up 0.67 percent. IWM. This is more rate sensitive, although it is did um doesn't look too bad. Up 0.83 percent. Dow Jones. is up 0.57%. So that's kind of our early look at the market index. Trying to see where the strength is. Financials are bouncing a little bit. Communications are up. Industrials are up. Real estate uh, pulling back pretty strong to the 20 day. Utilities, pulling back a little bit, not doing too bad. Biotech, a little bit of a bounce, hitting its head on its 50-day moving average. This biotech was down the most yesterday and it's gapping up the most today, up a little over 1%. Semiconductors, gapping up, up nearly 2% near the low. Infrastructure is up. Consumer discretionary. Tesla tried to move higher and sold off, which it did off a, about a one and a quarter percent, but it's made a pretty strong move here. So it develops a little bit of a handle. Wouldn't be surprising. And then does something like that. This is its competition. This is the largest EV maker in the world right now. This continues up another 3.37%. We did add that to one of our portfolios that we're managing. Let's continue XLP, pretty fat, flat. Consumer staples, healthcare, flat as well. We got um, transport, try to get a bounce up by half of a percent. Software tried to bounce and it's holding pretty tight, in pretty tight range there. That um, something you may want to keep an eye on. XLK try to get into the pivot area and is pulling back. This is kind of an odd shaped face of a cup with a handle. So just keep your eyes on that. Metals and mining, I would imagine, are up today. Gapping up outside of the China ETF, I think this would be my secondary ETF of the day. We've got two gap ups in a row. It uh, kind of pulls back a little bit yesterday and then bounces again. XLB, building materials, got a nice move in building materials as well. So that's up 2%. There's some of the metals and mining companies that are kind of in on the building materials as well. So that could be some of the reason for that. And home builders, well, they're up 0.87%. They're up higher and then pulling back like most of the market today. So that is a story there. Let us go and see what's in the news. Just adjust my copy here. The bull bear spread in American Association of Individual Investors, AAII weekly survey was 25.9 versus 24.4 last week. Bulls fall to 49.6 from 50.8. Neutrals rise to 26.7 to 22.8. Bears fall to 23.7 from 26.4. Once I adjust this a little higher, we'll get back. We can look at what's going on in the sectors. Consumer sector, American Outdoor announces $10 million share buyback. They're bouncing a little bit, quite a bit on that huge gap up, up 4.37% on that news. Aramark shares rising over 7% pre-market. Um, see what they're doing currently. So they did gap up and then pull back to the 10 day moving average. Um, Bloomberg reported last night that Sodexo is weighing a potential acquisition of Aramark as it eyes growth overseas. Bath and Body Works 
said the company and Julie Rosen, president of retail of Bath and Body Works, have mutually agreed. Um, Rosen will step down from her role, effective immediate. The firm reaffirms quarter three, full year 24 guidance. So they got a gap up on that news of two and a half percent. Hershey downgraded to underperform from hold at Jeffries, saying elevated prices and stretch consumers are finally impacting the U.S. snack category. Chocolate stands out as amongst the most concerning with buy rates versus 2019, trailing other snacks, wide price gaps versus other snacks getting wider. So Hershey continues to go down. Got a little cup with a handle formation um, signaling here. Possibly could put it on your radar, but with that news, doesn't look too positive. Um, Starbucks and raised target to 115 from 92, saying the market has positively reacted to the appointment of Brian Nickel as the new CEO. The stock current valuation does not fully appreciate the earnings power that Starbucks could unlock. So 115 is is a good ways away from where it is trading today. So you looks like a long cup with a handle formation right here. I just continue to watch this, see if it gets back into the pivot zone. 99.61 would be a buy point. So moving on to energy, industrials, and materials. HB Fuller, shares fell quarter three, EPS at $1.13, below consensus of $1.23. Gap down, and it is fighting back nearly for its life as it's up 0.58%. Amazing. Solar Tech initiates restructuring. Uh, not sure what happened there. Screen disappeared for a second. Um, solar initiates restructuring and transformation program and target of cost savings of EU 150 million to 200 million says sales, development, home solutions, and commercial and industrial solutions continues to be significantly influenced by persistently high inventories of distributors and installers. Challenging market environment. So there, I guess this is not going to come up. Maybe it's not traded on our markets. Worthington Steel is pulling back severely. Quarter one EPS 56 cents versus estimate of 55 cents. It's not enough to sway the market. Ear earnings are down 55% quarter over quarter, year over year quarter, down almost 9% for the day. On to financials. Merit Merant Bank Corp files for Comstock offering of $150 million. Gap down on that news. Um, dilution is not always um, something appetizing for shareholders. Armada Hoffer announces offering of 7 million shares of common stock. It gapped down another dilution in the works, down 8.18%. Jeffries, quarter three EPS, 75 cents versus 78 cents. Jeffries is not showing up. And Jeffries is initially sold off and is trying to bounce back off 0.94%. Uh, Northern Trust downgraded to sell from neutral at Goldman Sachs on interest rate risk, saying recent ch changes to interest rate expectations create a renewed downside risk to earnings estimates. Initially sold off, bounced off of the 50-day moving average, getting support from professional bank managers. So uh, New York Community Bank Corp upgrade sees favorable risk reward of current share levels. Got a gap up of 7.32% on New York Community Bank Corp. On to healthcare. Merck announced that new data highlighting the long-term efficacy and safety of Fula Sakabart, an investigational humanized monoclonal antibody directed to novel target tumor necrosis factor like cytokine. Um, the D... Um, and in Crohn's disease will be presented at the United European Gastroenterology Week 2024 Congress in Vienna, Austria. That is gapping down today, down 1.22%. We looked at Micron earlier. The results came in at EPS came in at $1.18 versus $1.14. Uh, so their earnings were up 210% year over year quarter. They're bouncing around. Um, not as high as it was earlier, but um, as long as it doesn't fill the gap, I guess it's okay. Like we said earlier, we took our profits uh, around a little over $112. Um, Accenture 
quarter four adjusted EPS 279 versus consensus of 278. Uh, gapped up and it's selling off here up 4.4%. Concentrics shares dip on results quarter three EPS $2.87 below consensus at $2.93. Big gap down, down about 17%. Finally, Sono double downgraded to underweight from overweight at Morgan Stanley and slash target to $11 from 20.37%. Um, percent. It is trying to fight back. So that's the story there. Let's go to our daily routine. Close this window here. Each world group, Chinese operator and franchisers of just under percent. i -Core. This was fighting close to Nexstar for IPO of the day. It's up a little over 12%. Jabal Circuits uh, up 10.66%. JD, another Chinese company, it is gapping up big time. Up the coffee gaps up as well, up 15%. We looked at Micron earlier and PDD is gapping up a little over 12.6%. We're going to pause for one second here. Yes, our recording didn't pause, so we're just going to keep on going. I just um, got my little handheld. David Allen Tepper, he's a hedge fund manager, owner of the Carolina Panthers. He's saying that um, he would recommend buying into Chinese stocks or ETFs right now. Just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. So what are we, we've been doing? We did close out a few things. Got tired of GitLab, so we got rid of that after hours last night. Um, 5147, I believe. And then we close Micron. We close, uh, we only had 100 shares of app, but we close that. Uh, in case it goes into a correction, we were up 30. 38, 39%. The other one is IOT. That's the other one that we got out of. And we did add to Dave. So I think Dave is going to run higher here. We'll just kind of wait and see. Yahoo has it, I believe, at 61. Um, so that'd be 20 point move from where it is right now. We'll just see if it can get there. But um, take a look at some of the other things on our on our platform. Kava Group holding steady. We did sell um, options at I believe it was 131. We'll see how that works out. Continue to hold this as a 10% position. It continues moving on up. It's up 2.5% today. Bidex is up slightly. We have a short at 33. We'll see how that works out if it takes away our holdings. Uh, it was an appetizing, pretty appetizing 
short at the time. So that's what we're doing there. Continue to hold NVIDIA. Moved higher and is pulling back a little bit. Continue to hold Reddit. We thought that it might pull back here a little bit on, the, on this move here. We're gonna just pause for a moment. We got a call coming in. So we're back. Um, CRS, we continue to hold Reddit. CRS, tried to move higher and pull back a little bit. We um, close AMSC. It may turn out that this is similar to what happened to ALAB. Um, we'll continue to watch this, but um, we just got the better part of Valor on such a strong sell-off today. Lore, we have a tiny position in lower. I think this might be a cup with a Handle formation here. Long as it uh, really stays above the 20 day, we're going to continue to hold that small position. It's financial company just riding along the 10 day moving average, doing nothing wrong. Oracle, like it's starting to ride the 10 day moving average as well. So we continue to hold on to Oracle about an after hours. So that's kind of our go to a couple of options on this. We did a spread option 110, 115. And then I guess we did a bullish put spread as well. We shorted the 110s and we went long the 105s. So that is up um, kind of nicely today for us. Um, so we like uh, ELF to um, kind of turn around here. It's getting into international district. I'm going to go into it again, but that is the story with Elf. Uh, Kava. You know, I guess we just covered Kava a little bit earlier. And I think that's a wrap up. Oh, we are miss this one, Natera. We have a patent dispute that's kind of uh, it's pulling back here a little bit. We did have, you would stay where it goes below it. We'll um, ditch it. So that is the story. This is Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. Hope everybody has a great day. Go out there and make a difference, and we'll catch you tomorrow.